Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics Pre-Calculus Practice Problems Playlist. For the full problem and solution transcript for this problem, you can see the link in the description of this video on our YouTube channel. So this problem asks you to solve the following system of equations. So what we're going to do is we're going to use elementary operations in order to kind of cancel out here from the bottom up and then solve for x, y, and z. Assuming that this system is, of course, consistent and has a solution, which in this case it does, as we will see later. Okay. So it looks like what we're going to do first is we can try to uh, cancel out, we're going to try to get rid of the x here in the top row. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace the first row. So first row we're going to do negative 2 times, I'll call this row 1, plus uh, negative 2 times row 1, oops, write this here, negative 2 times row 1 plus row 2. And I'm going to replace row 2 with that. Okay. So negative 2 times row 1, so we, we're going to get negative 2x minus 6y um, minus 12z equals negative 50. And then the second row here, we have 2x plus 7y plus 14z equals 58. And then the last row just stays the same, 2y plus 5z equals 19. Just writing this out for clarity here. Okay, so... We're going to add these two rows and replace the second row with that. So negative 2x plus 2x just goes to 0. Negative 6y plus 7y just goes to 1y. And 14z minus 12z just goes to 2z. And 58 minus, uh, 58 minus 50 is going to be 8. OK, so now we're going to go ahead and replace the second row uh, with that. And actually here, I will just erase the second row here and replace that with what we have down here, which is 2y plus 5z equals 19. Whoops, uh, no, that's just the bottom row. Um, we have here is y minus 2z, uh, plus 2z, excuse me. Just copied the wrong row. Okay. 2z equals 8. Okay, great. So now it looks like we're going to try to cancel out uh, the y from the last row, so we're left with just z's. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply negative 2 times the second row plus the third row and add it to the third row. So negative 2 times row 2 uh, plus, plus row 3. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and write out that down here. Um, and I'll just write the second and third row just um, to keep things going quickly because we're not doing anything to the first row in this case. Okay, so we're just going to do negative 2 times row 2. So we're left here with negative 2y minus 4z equals negative 16. And then the bottom row, just copying it down, 2y plus 5z equals 19. OK, so 2y, <clears throat> negative 2y plus 2y is going to go to 0. Uh, 5z minus 4z is just going to be 1z. And then 19 minus 16 is going to be 3. So we have here z equals 3. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and replace the bottom row with z equals 3. And now we can just do back substitution to solve our system. OK, perfect. So we know, now we know that z equals 3. And we know from the second equation that y plus 2z is equal to 8. So we know y plus 2z equals 8, just copying down the second equation. But we know that z equals 3. So we can say y plus 2 times 3 is equal to 8. So y plus 6 is equal to 8, or y equals 2. So now we've solved for uh, y and z. So we're going to use back sub substitution one more time to solve for x in the first equation. OK, so we know the first equation says x plus 3y plus 6z is equal to 25. Uh, and we know, here, actually, I'll write this up here, y equals 2, and we know First equation, x plus 3y plus 6z equals 25. And we know from before, 3, so y is equal to 2. So we're just going to plug in 2 here. z is equal to 3. Plug in 3 here. And what we get is x plus 6 plus 18 is equal to 25. x plus 24 equals 25. x equals 1. OK, so now using elementary row operations, we've solved our system of equations. So we're left with here, I'll just rewrite this down here as 1, we're left with uh, x equals 1, y equals 2, 
and z equals 3. So in fact, our system is consistent because it has one solution, at least one solution, in this case exactly one solution. So we have solved, using alarm material operations, we've solved our system of equations. So for more of these pre-calculus problems, you can visit our playlist here. To subscribe to us, you can click here, and to visit centerofmath.org, you can click here. Thank you for watching.